So a funny thing happened today on the way to making a new video for you guys. I was originally going to tell you about this neat little toy that I picked up. I got to wondering if there was any chance at all that it might meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. So after I enabled the Microsoft Windows 11 requirements of Secure Boot and TPM in the BIOS, and hoping that the PC health check from Microsoft would bless me with a free Windows 11 upgrade, instead I got this the dreaded no bootable devices found message. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain why this happened and how you can fix it. There are two ways to fix this problem. One method is free, which I'm gonna show you in this video, but this method also requires you to wipe your hard drive and reinstall Windows clean. I'll put a link to those programs down below if you'd like to check them out. Those programs aren't free, but they will allow you to make the necessary changes on your computer without you having to back up your files or even reinstall Windows. So I had to do a little digging to find out what was causing this boot up error. It turns out that the error happens if you enable secure boot and TPM in the BIOS, but your hard drive is still set to an MBR configuration. We have to convert your drive from MBR to a GPT configuration. So to make these changes, you're gonna first need a Windows installation disk. You've booted to it, and now you get this Windows installation screen. The next stage, you wanna click on I accept the license, click next, click custom install, and press shift F10 on your keyboard to bring up a command prompt. On the next screen that comes up, type disk part and hit enter. On the next screen, you're gonna type list disk and hit enter. Now you're going to type select disk X, where X is your primary drive. Here, disk zero is my primary drive, so I'm going to type select disk zero. You wanna type clean and hit enter, and that is going to wipe that entire drive and the partition and put it back to basically like factory drive type convert space GPT. Now you'll get a notification that the conversion was successful. Exit that window and then close out all of the Windows setup. Restart your computer. Reboot back to that Windows installation media and start the setup process all over again. Now you see you have one drive unformatted. Click next on that drive. Now just go through the Windows installation process like you normally would. So once Windows loads, we wanna go into disk management and verify that the system is actually in a GPT environment. You right click on your drive and you'll see where it says convert to MBR. That means it is a GPT drive. Now at this point, in order to be Windows 11 compliant, I'm gonna go back into the BIOS after restarting and re-enable TPM and secure boot. If my hardware supported it, I would be able to update to Windows 11 now that I've got GPT, secure boot, and TPM all set up. If you'd like to see other tips, tricks, and Windows troubleshooting, click on that playlist on your left. And if you want to let YouTube tell you what it thinks you should watch, click on the video on the right. 